Welcome back all you fragrance fanatics and beauty babes. Today is going to be more of a casual chit chat. I have some niche perfumes we're going to talk about and some different beauty finds that I'm loving lately and also um, some interesting things that I stumbled across on Sephora. Just a heads up, this video is probably going to be really long um, because I am a talker, especially when it comes to chit chat, beauty related and perfume related stuff. Uh, so, you know, get your favorite beverage, get a snack. Um, you could just leave me on in the background while you're cleaning your house or doing whatever it is you want to do. Um, first off, we're going to talk about Sephora. I was on the Sephora website looking up, uh, looking in, I was typing in a perfume that I was wanting to, to uh, that I was interested in. And of course, you know, uh, other things pop up as well. And I was like, huh? I was like, what? <laughs> and like Sephora has a wide range and variety of shapes and colors of adult sex toys. <laughs> and not that I care, I don't, I, you know, I have nothing against that stuff whatsoever. I just thought it was a little odd. Like, am I, first off, am I the, am I like the last to know? Did you all already know this? And I'm like the very last person to know? Or is this news to you as well? Um, I would love to know in the comment section. Because I just, I had no idea. And it just seems a bit odd. Because it's like, you know, here's your hair care and your beauty care and, You've got your makeup and your perfume and, and oh yeah, we also have sex toys. Like, like it just, I feel like it's kind of odd um, for Sephora. But uh, I, so the, the um, they have reviews on there and the reviews are hysterical. And the, one of the funniest things was that it was saying uh, that they're cruelty-free vibrators. And I'm like, okay. Like, I'm so glad that no bunnies were harmed in the making of my sex toy. Like, what? <laughs> I don't know. That just made me really giggle. Um, but anyway, so that, that shocked me. I don't know. Maybe you all already knew this information. And I'm not saying anything new to you. I don't know. But, uh, but they look really, like, nice, high quality, too. And they have pretty good reviews. So, yeah. Um, so next up, we're going to talk about... I've been trying to create my own little palette like for myself because I'm so sick of having to reach for like a million different palettes like I want everything everything that I use in one palette that I can just open up and there it is everything I need um so I've been getting some empty um little containers from Amazon, like you can get a bunch of these empty little containers from Amazon and then you can just put whatever you want in them, uh, put them on your stove on low and then just melt whatever it is you want to put in this and then you can stick it to your little, you know, it magnetizes in here. Um, so I'm, I'm in the process of figuring out what exactly I want in there and don't want in there. And, and I, I obviously everything that's in there, I want it to be just stuff I use every single day. Nothing that's not going to be, because you know how some palettes you might use just like one or two things out of like a whole palette. Like I just want to take those two things out and put them in my palette. You, you know, it's just easier that way. And so I'm still not finished making this, um, but it's getting there. It's getting there. And then I didn't realize that beauty, because I use a setting powder. Um, my skin is very oily. And so I use setting powder. And normally I use like a big brush and stuff. But like I said, I want everything to be able to kind of like fit into a little palette that, that is just compact and everything I need is there. I didn't know Beauty Blender sold powder um beauty blenders. I know that they've got the liquid ones, you know, all of us know about those, but I didn't know that they had a powder version. Um, it's super, super soft. 
and it just all you have to do is like press it in and it just like because you can get in you know you can I love the corners you can get in there with the powder and or you can use the bigger side and then you can also use it like a brush and just very lightly like fluff off the excess um really nice I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised with this purchase um I did not buy this at Sephora I really don't know if they sell them I, I if they do I will put it in the link or I'll put it in the description box below. But I got mine from Amazon and I believe it was around $20, but I'm not positive. And I'm just really, really enjoying this, loving this. And then one other thing is the, I want a lot of my stuff in my own little palette to be things I can use with my fingers and um, quick and easy, you know. So I picked up a cream blush for the first time and I'm still, I'm still working with it because I'm used to, I'm used to dipping a, a fluffy brush in a powder and putting it on. I feel like it's a little bit, I know it's a little bit more challenging with just your fingers and, and a liquid trying to get it, I don't know, how you want it. But so I've been working with this particular um, I'll, I'll put the, I'll put it up here what it is because I actually took it out of the original, uh, container it came in and I melted it down and put it in here to use. And I'm really enjoying this. I also love it because it's multi-use. You can, um, like I'm, I'm, I have it on my lips today as well. So you can use it on your lips. You can use it as blush and I've got oily skin. So I was a little like hesitant when it came to cream blushes but it gives like a really nice dewy glow without looking oily or like making your pores look bigger um so the next thing we're gonna go over is you know what let's let me before we get into the niche samples that I got I've got my tablet here we are going to I wanted to go over a couple of the new perfumes that are coming out or have just recently come out some of these have like uh for instance mood ring I don't know you got I don't know I I go back and forth on if I want to purchase this or not because like do I need another you know like gummy bear I feel like I have stuff that's kind of like sour gummies and um, fruit sour gummies. Like I've got different perfumes. Like, so I don't know if I want to get another one. The The base is what's really making me think, ooh, I don't know. I mean, there's no vanilla in here at all. It's just, the base is musk, amber, and patchouli. And I, I feel like the beginning is going to be amazing. The opening but I feel like the base is going to be just like, eh. And I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still deciding. And then I really, <laughs> this would be such a good perfume if it didn't have coffee in it. I'm just not a coffee. Per I, I love coffee, but not on my skin. <laughs> um, the new Black Opium Over Red has just amazing things that I would love. We got cherry, we got mandarin, uh, black tea, um, Madagascar vanilla, but then there's coffee in it. I just don't, I just don't see how cherry and mandarin and vanilla, like go into coffee, like especially cherry, cherry and coffee. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'll try it out, but it could be, I'm hoping that maybe it's more of a creamy coffee, like a cappuccino, but it, but it does, it doesn't say that it just says coffee. So I don't think it is, but it would be nice if it was like a creamy cappuccino mixed in with those other notes that, that might be good. So I might, I might get like a little sample of that just to kind of test it out and see. And, um, and then Valentino is coming out. The Valentino Born Aroma, they're coming out with another flanker. Uh, I don't believe it's out yet. 
as of right now. I don't know. Um, the Donna Green Stravaganza. And the bottle looks cool. Looks really cool. But I don't know. Eh, like, you know, I just don't know about these notes. I don't know what a lap song is. There's lap song in here. Um, and jasmine and vanilla are what the main things are that they're highlighting. And it says here that the lap song is a sweet, refreshing, yet smoky accord and adds a crisp vibe upon the initial blast soon followed by a delicate heart of jasmine absolute for a long lasting floral complexity. Um, the jasmine's what's definitely, the jasmine and the vanilla is what's definitely gonna make this um, more of a, uh, the, have some of that born in Roma DNA from the, from the other ones that they've had. Um, what's this say? Uh, it thickens even further to unfold the creamy base of vanilla extract. Uh, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what a lap song is, but it says it's something. I don't know about smoky. I don't know about smoky. Smoky with like a, a refreshing, like anything refreshing and smoky in the same sentence. I, I, in my opinion, it just seems odd, but the crisp, refreshing, sweet, that, you know, I, I'll, I'll give it a try. I will give it a try because it could be really good. Because um, I, I ended up loving the original Donna Born and Roma. And, um, and then the Donna Born and Roma Intense. Oh my God, does that get compliments? And it is amazing. One of my absolute ride or die love, love, loves. Um, and I didn't think, I didn't think it would be that great. Like I thought, oh yeah, it'd be right. But like absolute love of mine. So maybe, you know, I'm not going to judge a book by its cover. I'm going to try it out. We'll see. We'll see. And then, um, the, the Tom Ford vanilla sex. I don't know. I don't know. Is it worth the price? Heck no. Heck no. There are so many other beautiful vanilla perfumes. You do not need to spend over $300 for not even a full size. I don't even think that's the, the, the hundred mil. Um, I'd have to look it up, but, um, I think that was just the 50 mil. It's got the bitter almonds, got the vanilla, vanilla absolute, ultra, ultra vanilla, um, tonka beans, sandalwood. So, this makes me think it's going to be creamy and sweet. Um, it says it's powdery, powdery, sweet vanilla almond. Um, but floral notes, like they have flor, like what does that mean? Like why not pop in something, like if, if you're going to put that price tag on there, I don't want to see something that just says floral notes. Like I want to see like a vanilla orchid or something really, um, like really nice and more upscale than just generic floral notes, you know, <laughs> for, for the, for how much it, let's see, let's see exactly what it is. Um, yeah, it is for sale right now. Um, yes. Yeah, okay. They have the 50 mil. It doesn't look like at, the, at this time, they don't have any other option because I wouldn't mind paying 70-ish dollars for a travel size so I can test it out. But I'm not paying the, for 50 mil, it's $395. That is just outrageous. What do they have in here? What, they don't even have vanilla caviar. Wait, wait, I don't think so. Wait, did I say it? No, they got vanilla, vanilla absolute, vanilla or ultra vanilla, but like at least Burberry Goddess, which is not even half of the, that cost, um, 
you know, has like uh, vanilla caviar in it, you know? I, so it just, I don't know. I don't know. What, what do you guys think about the new vanilla sex? And do you all think that's, I mean, I feel like that is an outrageous amount of money for what this is. I, I, I don't know. I, I would love for you all to, to tell me what your thoughts are on this down below. So now we're going to go into um, some of these samples here that I got from like niche samples and stuff. Um, some of them are great. Some of them are okay. Like we'll, we'll, we'll go through all of that. Let's start with the, it, and I got this from a, a subscriber. They, um, they had a bunch of samples and they sent them to me in the mail. And um, I was really grateful for that because I, I love just testing out all different types of things. But let's start with the, where is it? The Guerlain Iris Tora, Torafia? Tor, Torafia? I don't know. I don't know. Um, this one has cardamom, coffee, bergamot, iris, ambrette, leather, tea, vanilla, and amber. And this is like $380. $380. I really want to like this, but I can't. I just, I just can't. I can't like, at all because it, iris to me in my opinion everyone's different how they see things but iris to me is fresh and powdery and I would never take anything fresh and powdery and put it and mix it in with earthy dirty things like um like coffee leather um like like the more of earthy or earthy stuff with something that's so fresh and powdery clean like it just like my nose can't my nose like is making my brain like short circuit because it just like those two especially coffee and iris like those two things like just they don't belong together and it's weird it's weird and for $380, like, man. And it's not even very sweet either. The Iris Absolute um, by La Via, La Via Belle. The Iris Absolute is way more um, fruity, feminine, fresh, powdery, and, and it's so sweet. Oh, it's sweet and delicious. And um, for $120 versus $380. And then the Armani Code um, perfume for men, although sometimes I wear it. Like, it depends. Like, if I'm feeling very feminine and girly, because, um, like, I feel like we all have those moods, you know. And when I'm feeling more feminine and girly, um, I will pick up the Iris Absolute. But, it, but sometimes I'm feeling a little bit more tomboyish, a little bit more masculine, and I will wear the the um, Armani Co perfume because um, it is oh, that is like a sex bomb. Love that one. But again, that has a lot of fresh, aromatic, and woodiness to it. Um, I just feel like coffee is just a strange thing to have with Iris. Um, is that just me? Do you all feel the same way? Please, please let me know. I, I want to, I want to know all your all's thoughts on everything we're talking about down below in um, the comment section. Um, and now let's do the girl on S Santal Royal. This one here. And this one is warm, spicy. Wait, where'd it go? I just Wait, there it is. Okay. Uh, warm, spicy, sweet, woody, smooth, earthy. Oh, come on. 
There we go. There's jasmine, neroli, rose, peach, cinnamon, oud, sandalwood, leather, amber, and musk. And this one is not bad. This one's not bad. I mean, you get that oud and... Um, you get like a little bit of a, like a juicy peach, but also there's like some spices, like the, the cinnamon is in there and the rose, the creamy sandalwood. Like a little bit of that leather and amber, but so it is very nice. It is very nice, very pleasant perfume. Um, if, and if you want to pay $260 for this perfume, then you do you, boo. But, um, but I feel like this isn't anything that Kayali hasn't already done. Like, I feel like the, the, the Kayali Oudgasm collection, like any one of those could go head to head with this. And, you know, it just... And their and their prices are, um, you know, they're still not the cheapest, but it's going to be way cheaper than buying a bottle of the Guerlain Santal Royal. Um, but it is really nice. It is really nice. I did not mind this one. Um, and the next one we have, I, I wrote down notes and everything so I could keep myself kind of on track and organized. Um, gentle fluidity. Now this one I was really, I was really like, ooh, because I, I don't get to try many. Have I tried any of the, the Mason, for the, the, the MFK, whatever you call this, whatever, whatever the sensation is. I feel like everyone's talking about, you know, the, the, the 540. Isn't this, this is the same company that does the 540. Um, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, this one is gentle fluidity. And I think this is the first MFK perfume that I have smelt. I know that I have the Ambery Saffron dupe for the 540, but I don't think I've actually ever put my nose to an actual, like from this brand, like an actual perfume from this brand. So this one has juniper berry, musk, coriander, woody notes, nutmeg, amber, and vanilla. And this one is really good. Really good. This one I gave a five out of five. It is so aromatic and fresh and woody, a little musky, a little powdery. It's soft and clean, but that nutmeg gives it this little bit of um, sweetness. Not like not like like gourmand sweetness, but just just a little bit of like a natural sweetness to it. And like it's a fresh spiciness, but not. You know, not like spicy, but like spice it, like the, the spices. Oh, I love that nutmeg in there. That just get that is what gives this a little, a little touch of something extra. Oh, it's almost like a your skin, but better, but like amped up just a little bit. Like, I really, really enjoy this one. But again, it's $240. And I just can't see myself. Because this is more of a, like I said, your skin but better. 
uh, very like low key, it, well, like the name suggests, gentle fluidity. It's very, very low key, but very, you know, not, it's not a showstopper or anything like that. Um, I feel like you could totally wear this. Yeah, I feel like you could totally wear this uh, for like uh, any type of jobs that require you to like not really have anything, you know, like anything really strong on. Because this is, like I said, very gentle, very nice and gentle. But do, but do I want to pay $240 for a Your Skin But Better, gentle, not very noticeable clean type of scent probably not i wish they had little um i wonder if they have other from what i was seeing it was 240 dollars. but i'm wondering if they have like little travel size you can buy. i doubt it i doubt it but i, I wouldn't mind buying a travel size of it because i'm just not going to use this every day this would be something Like, I feel it like you could wear this to the gym because it's just really light and, and inoffensive. You could wear this to a hospital. I feel like you wear this to like church, like any type of like close where you're going to be in really close proximity with a bunch of people. But I'm just not like, I'm not going to need it all the time, not to justify a $240 price tag. Um, I don't mind, mind paying $160 for 100 mils of Burberry Goddess because I'm going to use that all the time. But this for $240? No. But I do give it a 5 out of 5. It does, like, if you got the extra cash and you want to spend it on something, I think this one is, you can't even really see it because it, I think this one is, amazing five out of five for sure the next one i have here is the valentino now this one this one is not like a niche i've got a couple of niche ones in here but um the but i do have some other designer ones in here um the valentino oh oh mo u o m o Yomo, Yomo, I have no idea how to pronounce that. It's Aqua, is what it said. I'll, I'll put everything up on the screen so you know what I'm talking about because I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, this one, I had high hopes for because it has iris in it. And you know, I love an iris. Iris is sexy. Love it. And this one, the only thing, it's just not, ah. uh, again, with the, they're trying to put something so powdery fresh next to a leather. And I just, I can't, my brain can't put those together. It just doesn't, like, my brain is saying, no, this doesn't work. I mean, it's not unpleasant. It's not something I would smell on somebody and be like, oh, God, you know. It's just not what I would gravitate towards. Because I feel like Iris is just, I don't know. Iris, I feel like, needs to be with... Oh my gosh, this fly will not leave me alone. Like fresh, woody, um, like just th those type of like clean things. I just can't see it with leather. Although I don't mind a leather in a perfume, but uh, as long as it's like a mild leather. And I feel like this one is... It's a it's semi mild leather, but just with the iris and then to, tomato. I'm not really a fan of tomatoes. Um, tomatoes really aren't my thing. I don't like I don't like the smell of them. And 
there is some tomato in this with leather and iris and it seems odd the very the very very first initial spray is wonderful because it, it's a juicy mandarin orange but then it's like the rest of it is like eh. <laughs> so I, I i wasn't too impressed with this one um i had high hopes for it though uh the next one is replica when the rain stops and this one has fresh green notes bergamot pink pepper watery notes rain notes turkish rose jasmine pine tree moss patchouli um i i really like this one really like this one I mean, it's definitely one that I would not normally gravitate towards because I like more sweet gourmands. That's what I normally go for. This literally, when you smell this, it literally smells like you are walking outside right after like a rain shower has stopped and you can literally smell or I, you can literally like visually see raindrops or you know still on everything um but the the sun is starting to peek through and and there's like raindrops on the on the roses and I, it just smells really it takes you on a journey like it literally like it's a sensory journey here <laughs> it's fresh clean a little musky it's soft aquatic aromatic, a little woody, but this is one of those good, really good, soft, clean, no nonsense type of smells. Um, again, the type of um, perfume that you could wear if you're not really um, into heavy perfumes or you can't really wear a lot of heavy perfumes wherever you work or wherever. Um, this is just a nice, clean, no nonsense smell and it's really nice, really nice. Uh, I, I believe this retails for $85. And the next one is Orm, Ormond Jane Muscat. Muscat, this one here. And this one it is not one of my top favorites, but it is a nice one. It's a really nice one. It's got saffron, cinnamon, date oil, rose absolute, frankincense, oud, oak moss, cardamom, and vanilla. And this one is definitely, uh, you can definitely smell that oud and the frankincense. It's got a, a nice, sweet, spicy, a little fresh. It's like it wants to be fresh, but the oud is like kind of bringing it down. So it can't be like totally like freshy fresh. Got that warm, sweet vanilla. I do get a little bit of smokiness. Yeah, the the dry down, the dry down. Now that I'm remembering this, because um, because I had looked over all of these about a week ago and. Um, kind of wrote down the notes for everything but then I was trying to remember like wh like why didn't I give this one a total like love and now it's because the dry down is just is just the oud and the smokiness just takes over at the bottom um, you don't get any any more of that like like I love the saffron and cinnamon um, 
rose, vanilla, but it's like all of that disappears and the oud just kind of just takes over all of it. Uh, so if you like a real oudy, smoky perfume with date oil, I'm not really a fan of date oil, but, um, you might like this. You might like it. Um, and then we've got, oh, Sarah Baker Gold Spots. Now this was another one that like so close yet so far away. Like it just, it just, it barely, om it, it almost made it to one of my absolute favorites. So this one has dark chocolate, butterscotch, oud, vanilla, oud again, <laughs> myrrh, because because one oud is not enough. It's got to have two ouds. Oud and oud. Uh, myrrh, musk, amber, bergamot, orange blossom. And the beginning of this. Oh, the beginning of this is amazing. Is just so good. I get just a huge whiff of it. it's it's a um a warm spicy and a huge whiff of a sweet creamy butterscotch. And it is mouthwatering. If it was just this alone, five out of five, absolutely. But then they just put so much oud in this. Why did they put so much oud? Like two different ouds, really? What oud is enough? But it's just too, the oud just takes over. It just, all those other beautiful, sweet, creamy notes that we were talking about, like it's like the oud comes in like a black cloud and just kind of just smothers everything down. It just becomes just oud on top of oud on top of oud. So I would give like the base of this, you know, I mean, have I smelt worse? Yes. So I won't give it like the base of this would be like a two out of five. But the, but the beginning of this, Absolutely, five out of five. But if you like a oud, a strong oud, a oud that's going to knock you out of your chair, you might really like this one. Um, this video is going to be so long, by the way, uh, just because this is such a casual little chit chat. I didn't want to, you know, I just wanted to talk about perfumes, you know, and you can just have this on in the background while you're cleaning or something. And we're just chit-chatting about our favorite subject. <laughs> uh, this next one is called Say Less Day 3. I think it's the, the brand name is Day 3 Fragrances. The name of the perfume is called Say Less. And this retails for $130. I'm going to put this on my paper here. Now, this one has uh, lemon, bergamot, iris, violet, rain, lychee, musk, amber, and woods. And this is very, yeah, very spark. Like, I'm going to put this on my arm, actually, because this was really cool. Sparkling, happy, bubbly, citrus, fresh. Oh, this one is definitely five out of five. It, the price is not bad, and the perfume itself is. See the iris, the iris, it's with lemons, you know, citruses. It's with rain. It's with, you know, lychees, um, woods. Like those are the things that iris needs to be with. This one is very nice. Oh my gosh. Mm, I really like this one a lot. And, and the dry down, um, like it, it kind of gives me the same vibe. It's very different, very different, but it gives me the same vibe 
as the um, Sparkling Lychee by K. Alley and the um, Lychee Rose um, by Nest. It gives you that same vibe and, and Pink Me Up. Uh, you know, uplifting, sparkly, bubbly, you know, that type of vibe. And, but the dry down is, the dry down does get to be a little bit more um, powdery, musky, but not, not too musky or anything. But still just really nice, clean. It's not too, like, in your face. Like, I would not mind buying this one. I might actually look into buying this one because, like I said, this one, this one's really good. Um, okay. Now, this next one is exciting, okay? So, so if you're sweeping, put your sweeper down. You need to come to the camera real quick because we need to talk about this. When I saw this one, okay, let me try to pronounce this. Cortana? Inforant, 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 I can't, oh God, here it is. Okay, that's what that is. Um, I open it up and I'm reading it. And I'm like, gasoline, what? Like my brain just exploded. I was like, what the heck? This is going to smell awful. It's got gasoline, nutmeg, suede, smoky, leather, amber, cashmere, vetiver. I was thinking there is nothing in here other than nutmeg. Like there's nothing in here that really makes me think I'm going to like this perfume, especially the gasoline. I was like, oh my God. Like I wasn't even going to try this, but I thought, you know what? Let's just try it out. Let's just see what I think. And... So, yes, it does smell like I'm going to put this on my arm because you do get this almost like you're pumping gas at a gas station smell at first. And it's odd. It's odd, but I love it at the same time. Like, this is so good. This, this I gave a five out of five. What I don't know. I don't know. It it it's like pumping gas at a gas station, but yet there's this sweetness and aromaticness to it. And then the dry down turns into this woody, smooth, leather, warm spice. I mean, this is surprisingly, shockingly good. Like it's like it like like what gasoline? What really? But yeah, yeah. It's two hundred thirty-five dollars for fifty mil. That mm, I feel like that's a bit. That's a that's a bit more than I'm willing to pay. But it's, it, it's also really good and extremely unique, obviously. It's really unique and it's, um, and, and the projection is like beast mode and this will last on my skin. Like I have, if, if I wanted to take this off, I would have to scrub it off my skin because it really, like it'll, it, it sticks to your skin like glue. But this one's really nice. I, I, I like it. Who knew I liked gasoline smells? I don't know. But I thought that was the most interesting, out of all of these, I felt, I felt like that's the most interesting one. The most unique one that I smelled. This next one is Dacita Paris? Dacita? Dacita Paris? Rosarin? Oh my gosh, I can't. I can't hardly understand or pronounce English words. So any other type of uh, words in other languages is just beyond me. 
Um, okay, so this one has Bulgarian rose, lychee, raspberry, bergamot, rose de may, my, um, ambrette, incense, jasmine, orris, patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, cacao, and benzoin. <laughs> That's a lot. And um, I definitely smell, when I was smelling this before, let me spray it again just to make sure that my notes, like I still agree with my notes that I wrote down here. Yeah, warm spices, you definitely get that rose. A little woody, a little earthy, it's aromatic. And that lychee and raspberry give it a little um, fun, fruity element. Now I will say, like I wrote down here, like I can, I can start, it's starting to happen again. Like after it starts to settle down, the um, you mainly get a lot. It's definitely not as sparkly and bubbly or anything like that, like any of my other lychee perfumes. Um, it just gives you like a little hint of that. And then it as it dries down, it disappears. And it just turns into, it's, it's like, it just turns into... Just a lot of incense, powdery. But a little sweet, a little sweet. But it's definitely, definitely not one of my favorites. I mean, it's it's okay, it's okay. I give it, a, I give it like a, a three out of five, a three out of five, it's not bad, it's not bad. But it's not, like when it comes to like lychees and and um, things like that, I've got I've got other ones that I would prefer you know, that have lychee and rose in them. The next one we have is Amber Sultan by Serge Sir Serge Lut Serge Lutens, and that one is I believe this one here, yeah. And this one has resins, amber, bay leaf, myrrh, benzoin, sandalwood, vanilla, coriander, and patchouli. This one is another, this one is another really good one. Five out of five. This, um, um, I'll put everything up here because I can't pronounce any of this, but definitely five out of five for me it you get it, it's like got a sweetness to it in a smooth way it's aromatic it's warm but also has like a fresh spiciness to it I really do like this one as well. Okay, so let's move along. Oh, this one um, retails for $150. Um, Masa Kajal? <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm really not, I'm really, I'm really trying up to here. Um, this one has grapefruit, bergamot, ginger, cardamom, patchouli, Watery notes. Um, we've got pedigrain, vetiver, vanilla, amber, cedar, violet. Yeah, woody, aromatic, citrus. You get like a fresh spiciness, aquatic, a, l a little, little touch of sweetness there. Really nice. Like, and, and I picture before I even 
like knew what the full bottle of this looked like. Like I had pictured like emerald green. And if you look at the full bottle of this, it's an emerald green color, but like you can literally smell that in the perfume. Yeah. And this one retails for $200, so, eh. This next one is called Lipstick Rose. It retails for $150, and, um, by Frederick Mial. This one has Violet, Rose, Musk, Vanilla, Iris, amber, raspberry, and grapefruit. Again, they put the iris with things that I personally feel like an iris should go with. <laughs> uh, but that's just my opinion. Other people might love the smell of iris and leather and, or iris and coffee together. Um, so let me, oh gosh, I just sprayed this all over the place. Yeah, this one's really nice as well. It definitely has, it's soft, it's powdery, a little sweet, a little fruity. Um, I feel like it kind of has that lipstick makeup vibe um, in the smell of it. But I feel like it's a, it's, you know, more amped up, more a little bit stronger than what you would actually get if you were to smell like a lipstick or something. But it's really nice. It's very feminine. Um, I'm and I'm wondering if this one is similar to uh, Lipstick Fever by Juliet Has a Gun. I have not got my nose on that one either, but I've heard. But it it seems like these would be similar. Um, I would like to find out for sure. And this next one is Dioras. Dior set. Wait, Dioras. Dioras set. Dior set. Sir Tess. I'm not even. Okay. Well, it's not even. I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try that one. But um, it's this one here. And this is the name of it. Um, this one has pink pepper, amber, iris, jasmine, cashmere, and patchouli. This one's definitely a five out of five. Oh, and by the way, this one retails for $125. Oh, five out of five, five out of five. Mm. Oh, now this is a good perfume. Oh my gosh. You get that pink pepper right up front. Oh, I love a good pink pepper. It almost tickles your nose a little bit. Oof. It's, it's a soft, fresh, spicy. And then it turns into this really nice powdery woody woodiness that's like mixed in with like a smooth amber mm. oh I really like this one really th this is another one I think this one and I think um the Say Less, those are my two like absolute favorites. Um, I, I would say I did like the gasoline one as well, but um, I can't see myself buying a full bottle of that. So we got a couple more here. Um, so just go back to dusting your house. It's okay, we're just chit-chatting here. Don't, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Don't worry about how long this video is. <laughs> The next one is Just Box, Juice Box, Visionary Eye. 
and this one has bergamot, wormwood, thyme, cinnamon, lavender, iris, sandalwood, vanilla, and musk. Yeah, this one's another five out of five. It's $200. So, you know, it's a bit, eh, it's kind of getting up there with that, with that gasoline one where I'm not sure if it, for me personally, if I want to spend that much money on a perfume like that, but, but man, it's really good. It's like, it's powdery, it's aromatic. Something about that cinnamon just kind of makes it a little bit more different, a little bit more interesting. And I believe we just have one more. The jo Jovi Musk pa pa Palace. This one has ambrette, bergamot, iris, peach, musk, and tonka bean. Mm. And this one is definitely another five out of five for me. The price is $150, so not, you know, not terrible. It's so fresh powdery, aromatic. It's got a sweetness to it. It's a little, little musky, soft. It's giving me similar vibes. It's different. It's different than Not Your Baby by Fleur, but it's giving me similar vibes to Not Your Baby. Yeah, definitely like this one as well. This is another five out of five for sure. So those are all of my perfume samples I wanted to go through. And um, I believe that was everything I wanted to talk about. I know that was a lot. If you actually watched the entire video all the way through, <laughs> thank you so much. You're a real one. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.